Hello and welcome everybody, Michael here from Atavius Team. Today, in quick tutorial, I'll show you how we can speed up the start of development using the Atavius pre-built virtual machine. So the virtual machine that we're providing for you guys it's built uh, using the VirtualBox. So obviously you will need to install the VirtualBox on your computers and the information you, and the files you can download from the virtualbox.arc website. And also on our wiki you will find a link to their user manual. So the file itself, the image itself that we created for you, you can download from your, from your a panel account on it is in section my downloads and on the bottom of the website you will see two virtual machines one of them is CentOS version 4 and the second one is Ubuntu version 4 so it is the just fourth generation of these uh, virtual machines so we'll start with importing these virtual machines as I already have downloaded this file, it is the OVL file. So to speed up the process again, you will just double click on the file. The Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager will open itself. Here you have general information about this virtual machine. So it have one CPU, one gig of RAM. You can change these settings in, in the settings of this virtual machine later on. So I press just import. The process itself will take a moment, depends on your hardware. Okay. So after the process, the import process finish, you will just need to select the virtual machine, press settings, go to network and ensure that the, it is attached to bridge adapter. And if you have one network card, it should be there. If you have, like me, multiple network cards, you just need to select this network card that you're using to access internet or any files in your network. And we can press OK and we can press Start. Now the first task that we'll need to perform it will be assigning static IP address for this virtual machine. To find what is our local network subnet, we'll, in Windows we'll run command cmd, press enter, and type their ipconfig space forward slash all. That will display all the information about your network interfaces. Okay, in my case, I'm using the, I see that a firewall assigned to my virtual, my computer actually, IP address 192.168.254. This part is very important, dot 50. It will sign also this subnet. And I know that my gateway is 192.168.254.254 this subnet mask you can also call it slash 24 so for now we can close this or minimize as our virtual machine already booted we can log into it the username is root and the password is atavis Okay, so the, by default, this uh, virtual machine, the Ubuntu image, have IP address 192.168.0.102 and the gateway is 192.168.0.1. But I need to change these settings to, to make it work in my subnet. To do that, I'll use command nano. And I'll edit configuration file. It's located in etc netplan and there is only one uh, configuration file 
So you can just press tap and press enter. After that, like, you, like I mentioned earlier, you'll need to edit the, the line where you, have, you will see the address. I'll modify it to 254 here. Dot 102. So I know that the IP address of this virtual machine is 192.168.254.102 and it's slash 24, so it is equal to 255.255.255.0. And I need to also modify my uh, gateway. So to match my gateway to my computer, it's 192.168.254.254. The DNS servers or name servers are the Google one. You can change them, but they're perfectly fine to work with. So now you will press the F2. That will pop up information to save, modify the file. So we'll press yes, and we'll press enter. Now the configuration file is changed. We can either restart virtual machines or we can run a command netplan apply. That will speed, speed up a little bit process as so we don't need to restart the whole virtual machine. And now we can run a ping test and see if everything is working. By working, I mean we can access the network. Like we, you can see, we can respond by pinging the one of the new DNS servers. Okay, so to cancel that, you will just press Ctrl and C. Okay, the next step that we need to perform is uploading the virtual machine, or actually uploading the uploading the server Atavism server files to this virtual machine. To do that, I will use the WinSCP. You can download this from their website. The link is available in our wiki. We have already uh, created the connection. It is a SFTP connection and I have the IP address of our virtual machine. Okay, so again, username is root. The password I have is So there are already some files, but you don't need to worry. They are actually important for us, as they will do the pretty much hard work for some users. So we'll just copy there from our drive, local drive, the zip the attack server files. And for now we can close this. Okay, so the server itself now have the scripts that will unzip this file and just make it ready to configure. In the past you need to modify multiple scripts. We tell that you know some people could have some problems uh, they are not familiarized with the Linux. So there was prepared web interface. Maybe it's not the most beautiful one but it's do the job. So this step it's also covered in our a wiki so that's here we just uploading the Atavius files and here we'll need to go to um, we'll need to go to the website so it will be the http colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of this virtual machine that we assigned to and then forward slash Atavius forward slash installation and forward slash install.php Okay, so we'll go there. HTTP, in my case it's 192.168.254.102 forward slash Atavism forward slash installation forward slash install.php. Here we need to enter your uh, email address that it's assigned or that you're using on your A panel and also you need to have the license key that it is also in your A panel assigned to this email address so they're connected. Uh, 
uh, I will enter here my license key, but it will be hidden. And then the database user, the virtual machine have, a, well, we create for you user, it's called Atavism and the password it have also Atavism. You can change these settings and most likely we are recommending to change these settings if you make this virtual machine available online are you sharing this and giving the other users access to this panel okay your dns well here you need to enter either the dns record or the ip address of this virtual machine i'll use the ip address and here the next point it's installation type obviously if we already use this uh, atavism and we know what we want to achieve we can just create a new installation without a demo data but if you are just new user you're just starting journey with atavism you just want to learn how it's working how to check something maybe you know take idea and maybe copy something to your project you can just select new installation with demo data or if you're running just an update to your older version of Atavism you'll just select the update but for me it will be the new installation with demo data so here for now I'll just press install in a moment the scripts will they perform all the tasks for us okay so the system finished the changing the all the modifying all the configuration files for us so we can close that we can also log out from our a panel so thank you for watching see you next time and if you have any questions you can visit us on our forum on at on forum.atavismonline.com or visit us on our discord channel